Hey guys and welcome to another episode of Quick Expert Reviews. Today we've got a Huawei Y6 2019, the successor to the wildly popular Y6 2018. We're going to start with the unboxing as usual, so that was the SIM tray pin, a quick start guide we've got in here as well, a warranty card, two years warranty across the Europe, um, a charger, isn't a um, Huawei supercharger, but it does its job pretty well, it charges to full in an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes, so it's not that bad, micro USB cable and even headphones, considering the price of £129, this is actually a decently packaged phone. I mean, even my Xiaomi Mi 9 didn't come with headphones in the box. Um, so yeah, well done Huawei. Now, this is a Huawei uh, Y6 2019. However, if you check on the official website, it shows there is a fingerprint sensor on the back. If you check GSM Arena, it shows you've got a fingerprint sensor on the back. However, on the Carphone Warehouse website in UK and on the alza.co.uk and on the e website, you can see there is no fingerprint sensor. So I'm not really sure what's going on in here. When you Google it, you can see that some of them do have fingerprint sensors and some of them don't. Now, this phone doesn't. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> literally don't know what to say, guys. Um, there should be a fingerprint sensor, I suppose, but there isn't one. Um, so we've got a 13 megapixel camera, headphone jack, SIM tray, which also allows us to put a memory card in, a micro USB speaker and a microphone grill on the bottom, volume up, volume down, power button, front facing camera, and there is also an earpiece and even a very small um, diode. Okay, so in terms of the phone itself, let's have a look. What are we running on? I think, yes, we are running on Android 9. Again, considering the price of the phone, pretty decent. I don't think that anything else within that price range actually runs on Android 9 Pi, uh, which is actually really good, especially that even the more expensive Y7 2019 um, runs on Android 8.1. So that is an inter interesting choice. Um, by Huawei. Now in terms of standard features we've got phone clone which allows us to transfer stuff from our um, old phones, we've got smart assistant with motion control so for example if we want to we can flip the phone to mute it if it's ringing or if we pick it up it lights up and answers and so on. As you can see I'm using ge gesture gesture <laughs> based um, navigation but if you'd like to you can change that to the uh, traditional back, recents and home button. I wanted to try it and it works really well. You've got a short demo showing on how to use it, how to like, you know, leave and how to go into multitasking mode. To be honest, it works very similar to the Pixel 3 um, and, and it is actually a natural way of navigating within Android 9 Pi. And again, talking about Xiaomi, it actually works better than in the Xiaomi Mi 9, which I will review very soon. In terms of unlocking the phone, there is no fingerprint sensor, but you can see there is a face recognition. And this is how fast it is. So if you just give me a sec, I'm going to show you. Yep, my MOG, voila, unlocked. It might not be as fast as the P20 Pro and the P30 Pro, but to be honest, we are talking about milliseconds difference, considering, again, the price of the phone, it's actually really decent. It's actually quite fast. Um, and it works really well. You don't have to change the region or anything like that. It works out of the box in UK, US, um, wherever you are based. In terms of sounds, you do get some sort of an equalizer in the Huawei Hisense, but to be honest, there's nothing to write home about. It does sound decent through the headphones, but the external speaker is absolutely out of this world. Hands down, the best external mono speaker I've heard. And obviously, as it usually is the case at the end of the video, right before the pictures, you actually hear how it sounds and it sounds really good and it's also very loud as well. You can see there is an eye comfort mode so your eyes feel less strained during night operation. You can even remove the notch if you like to. Hello Xiaomi, as you can see it's possible. They did that in MIUI 9 uh, and then they took it in MIUI 10. 
So yeah, unfortunately uh, that, but it is Huawei and they do things differently as you can see. Now in terms of the other features, we've got the Bluetooth obviously on board of the phone. I couldn't find the NFC feature um, to turn it off or on. So again, I'm not sure if different markets do get fingerprint sensors and NFCs and some markets don't but it looks like the uk market doesn't get the nfc and it doesn't get the fingerprint sensor if you want that you have to buy the y7 2019 which is 50 pounds more expensive and you get the fingerprint sensor definitely and so on now huawei claims as you can see that the radio does have uh, you can listen to the radio with no headphones as you've seen, unfortunately, you do have to plug in the headphones to listen to the radio because they double up as an antenna. So I'm, again, I don't, I'm not sure what's going on in here. A bit of conflicting information from Huawei. Then we've got the party mode, which allows us to connect up to 10 devices to listen to the same tune. So you've got like 10 speakers uh, playing the same tune. And that's pretty much it. Now let's have a look at the camera again, as usual. At the very end of the video, you will have some uh, camera samples. But overall, the experience is a bit toned down from the P Smart or the um, P30, but obviously it's a different target. And to be honest, the photo quality is actually pretty decent. Again, I was really surprised with the quality of the pictures taken. There are not that many features. You can only record in 1080p in 30 frames per second. Pictures, if you want to take in the full 30 megapixels, they have to be in 4x3 ratio. But other than that, you also get the Pro Mode, which is only for photos, no video, um, Panorama, and that's pretty much it. So let's have a look. Oh, and the HDR mode, which actually, again, works pretty well. Um, it's, I have to admit, it's one of my favorite phones. Like, you, I know you get 2 gigabytes of RAM and 32 gigabytes of internal storage, which is obviously expandable, but as you'll hear in a second, even... They, they kind of focused a lot on the phone and the, the, the quality of stuff and, and, and bits in this phone is actually way better than it was in the Y6 2018 model. So yeah, let's listen to that speaker. So yeah, thanks for watching another episode of Quick Expert Review and I'll speak to you soon. There will be a video about gaming on it as well. Take care. Bye.